this video, we're going to talk about something really important and specifically on how to create the absolutely perfect Fiverr gig. This video will be super useful because it will help you get more orders and make more money as a freelancer, not just on Fiverr, but everywhere. My name is Boris and I've been a top rated seller selling digital marketing services for more than six years with more than 7,000 satisfied customers and more than $650,000 in earnings up to date. I know all the tips and tricks that can take you from a zero to a hero, which is why I wanna share with you how to set up the best Fiverr gig. I'm not saying this to brag about it, but to assure you that I know what I'm talking about and that I can actually provide you with a real value. The truth is that if you wanna make money on Fiverr, you need to have a gig that sells. When I personally understood the things that I'm about to share with you, my profits skyrocketed and I'm making more than 30K per month on Fiverr alone. Using the same method, I became a pro and a top rated seller. Make sure that you don't skip anything in this video because only a small change in your gig can actually determine if you make money or you don't get any orders at all. Now let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to identify your skills. Many people are trying to look for services that make money now because they are trending or they heard them for a friend or a YouTube video. Remember the same YouTube video that told you to invest in crypto. However, this strategy works only if you want to make money in the short run. In the long run, what matters is your real skills, your passions, and the things that you love to do. Many people are focusing on the wrong thing. Because if you want to start something because it's a trend, you're going to make some money. And when the trend is over, you won't make anything. And you will come back to the starting phase. This is why you want to start with something that you're an expert, or at least you want to be an expert. After you identify that, you can create your gig and then you can go with the trends. So identify your skills or topics that you want to study and create gigs related to them. If you want to find something that works, just search on Fiverr for your competitors and see what kind of services are working. You can check that by doing a Fiverr search for the service that you want to offer or look at the top 10 gigs that are on the first page. Check each one individually and you will see the orders in queue tab. The gig with the most orders in queue tends to be the best seller. You need to create something similar because you already know that there is a demand for it. Before I continue with the next step, I want you to smash that subscribe button because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to do and how to create the perfect Fiverr gig. Okay, so for the next step, we'll go to my laptop and I'll show you exactly where to click and how to click so you can have the best performing gigs and to make more money on Fiverr. If you see now on the screen how my gigs looked when I was starting on Fiverr, when I had around 100 reviews, you see how your gig shouldn't look. Honestly, when I started on Fiverr, I didn't understand so many things. The only thing that gave me a boost was the headline on my gig. It was called, I would provide high profit audience for your Facebook ads. And this hook, high profit, made the clients click on my gig. And back then, digital marketing service was a trend and it was booming and there was a ton of demand for it. However, in terms of gig optimization, I was a complete zero. And if I didn't evolve and improve over time, I wouldn't make so much money and get so many orders. At the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to make your perfect gig. Be patient and watch till the end because you are not gonna be sorry about it. If you don't make your gigs look amazing and if you leave them look like mine in the past, the clients won't purchase and you're going to lose potential orders. I'm going to show you how my profile looks now and you can see the significant difference and understand why back then I had only 100 orders per year and now I have more than 2000 per year. The most important thing that I learned is that you need to offer a service and divide this service into multiple gigs. For example, in my case, I have my main service, which is to set up and manage Facebook and Instagram ads. You can see what I've done. I've created a gig for Facebook audience research. I have another gig for Facebook ad copywriting. I have another gig for Facebook ad account audit and another gig for Facebook post management. I also have a ton of gig extras related to my main Facebook gig. This is how I managed to cover almost everything that a client can actually want from the platform and from my services specifically. 
For example, more ideas are to create Facebook pages or to optimize their Facebook groups, but I don't like these services and I don't want to offer them. I think that you get the point right now. Do you know that only one service can be the difference between having a client in the first place and not getting orders at all? You need to have a variety of different services that are related to the main category of your main service. The next thing that you're going to notice is the branding of my gigs. You will see that my face is on all of my gigs. This is because of two reasons. The first one is that I want the buyers to see me as a credible person. I want to see who are they working with because this way they will trust me more. And if they trust me more, they will purchase more from me. The second reason is because they will remember me. And since buyers are looking for multiple freelancers when they are searching, they will remember that they've spoken to me and when they see me again and again and again, guess what's gonna happen? They will order from me and guess what? I'm gonna make more money. This is why it's extremely, I can't emphasize this enough, extremely important to have your face on your gigs. Believe it or not, this simple change was the key factor in scaling my business. Only adding a simple image of your face on your gigs can make a huge difference. Trust me, if you haven't done this already, try it. After you create your gig image with your face or something that can represent you, it's time to move to the headline. The headline is extremely important as well. The image and the headline are literally the most important elements because with the image, you will win the client's attention. And with the headline, you will win the client to be certain to click on your gig. You need a headline that will hook the clients. Don't use boring headlines like my current headlines. I will make the perfect Facebook ads. You can do that when you have a ton of reviews and a social proof. Before that, you need to create something catchy that is also strict to the point. I see so many sellers make the mistake of using terminology that no one understands. I made such a mistake in the past as well. For example, I created in the past a gig code I will create retargeting Facebook audiences. After a certain period, I realized that no one knows what retargeting is. If probably if they knew, they wouldn't need my service at all. So this is why it's super, super important to create headlines that resonate with the client. Remember, if potential clients fully understand the technical aspects of what you're offering, they might not be your target audience as they can do it themselves. The last piece of advice that I'm gonna give you is the most important and it will increase the number of orders you get. So make sure to pay close attention to this because this is where most people make mistakes. And the biggest mistake is the pricing. Many people are pricing their gigs cheap so they can have clicks. I realize that. But this is something that you should never do. Many people list and describe their service in the headline and usually when the clients are browsing, they see the headline and the cheapest package. After that, they decide if they want to click on the gig based on these factors, the headline and the price. And here comes the fun part. If they click on the gig, but they see that the basic package does not cover the offer they have seen on the headline, they're going to be frustrated and they will leave your gig without even contacting you. This is why it's crucial that your basic package covers the essentials that you've advertised with your headline. Otherwise, the clients will feel that they have been misled. With the standard and the premium packages, you must add an additional value, but the service must be completed with the basic package as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I hope this advice has been useful to you. Subscribe to my channel because I release videos every single week. And also, don't forget to comment below and ask your questions so we can have a discussion or join my Facebook group about it. See you soon.